Today, Brian Brothers is at Woodlands. We are at this project called North Oak. I will bring you to this four bedder that is standing at a staggering size of close to 1,500 square feet. With an asking price of $1.18 million. With lots and lots of facilities. <laughs> Why don't you stick around with Brian Brothers? Let's go. Norfolk's tea will be back in year 2000 and we are still currently having a balance of 74 years and I will say for project of this size, this is something that you cannot find in today's market. There are a total of 720 units. Our unit is a 4 big 3 buff layout. Now you will realise that this entire unit is a bright breezy unit overlooking towards the pool and just to quickly bring you up to speed about our location. We are located right at the intersection of Gambas Avenue as well as Woodlands Avenue 7. You will also realise that if you want to find a condo development within the Woodlands area, that is a rare find because the entire Woodlands vicinity, they are largely populated by HDB clusters with only a small minority belonging to the condo developments. If you are to search right on the property portal, if you want to find a 4 bidder, it is hard for you to find a 4 bidder that is standing at a size of close to 1,500 square feet. Because most of the layouts that we see in today's market, they are averaging between 1,200 to 1,400 square feet. Of course, this is how the layouts have evolved over the years. Let's kickstart the home tour right over here. The moment you enter, you will realise that you have no foyer space and I would say this is great because you can almost utilise every nook and cranny and being a corner unit, you do not need to be concerned about neighbours walking past otherwise you might wish to install privacy screen but I would say for this unit, you do not need to factor for all these kind of space you can still fit in additional storage space if you wish to have your shoe cabinets right here or otherwise you can have this kind of sitting stool right over here Now being in this part of Woodlands also means that in terms of connectivity, you are not being compromised because we are just two bus stops away from Admiralty Station and that will bring us towards the Thompson East Coast Line where you can head down towards the Bright Hill or towards the Springleaf area and of course on the other side, that will bring us all the way down towards Town area. If you are driving, we are just about 3 to 5 minutes drive away towards the SLE and that will bring you towards the rest of the major expressway and last but not least, you have the North-South Corridor that is just right within close proximity that is going to reduce your travelling time by about 5 to 10 minutes towards the city centre area. Coming over towards this portion, this is where you can find your dining space. You can easily expand up to an eight-seater. That is just right outside the kitchen. We're gonna check out the kitchen first. I would say in terms of the kitchen space, this is something that you cannot find in today's market. You have dual galley countertop. What we love about this kitchen is that it comes with like huge ventilation window. Rarely you find kitchen that is this bright. And I would say in terms of the space, this is definitely sufficient. But let's see, that is not sufficient if you wish to kind of expand the space. You can still remove this section of the wall and then create a long island that extends right over here and that will also double up as your dining space as well as increasing your storage space. Alternatively, if let's say you do not wish to extend outside, you can also choose to extend additional space right over here. Moving on towards the last portion of this area, that is where you can find a huge storeroom. Even if let's say you wish to have a really thin helper, your helper can choose to stay inside here because this even comes with a huge ventilation window. This will then lead towards one of the common bathroom. Coming back towards the living hall, that is where you can find a very squarish kind of layout. Wall to wall, you have almost 4 meters. Even if let's say you want to fit in like an 8 or 10 seater so far, you can still do so. The space to the TV area is still great. You can still fit in like a huge 65 inch. And for this unit, this is a blank canvas type of unit. I think this would be great if let's say you are someone that prefers to do a full on renovation. Of course, renovation right now in terms of the costing. We estimate if let's say you just want to change out the kitchen, you want to change out the bathroom, but you want to retain the flooring, that will estimate to be at about eighty dollars to $100,000. The next thing that you can do is to buy some furniture to spruce up the entire space. Overall, quantum wise, even if let's say we were to add in the entire renovation cost of about $100,000 over $1,000, that's going to bring your price quantum to be at about $1.18 million. And that is still well below the kind of asking price right around here. 
Let us take a closer look in terms of what are some of the options if let's say you were to go into a 4 bidder. Now for 4 bidder within this vicinity, it can be split into a few categories. One is the penthouse type of category where you have a larger roof terrace as well as a balcony. And that is great if let's say you are someone that prefers to have a mixture of indoor-outdoor living which is move towards the next type of category, cluster house where in terms of the overall size, they are going towards the 2,000 to 3,000 square feet naturally in terms of the price quantum that will go up towards a region of 2 over million dollars and as we take a look at some of the newer developments they are ranging between 1,003 to 1,400 square feet with the inclusion of a huge balcony and if you have to take a look at the broader landscape right around this northern region, you also realise that in terms of the size, they are ranging between 1,002 to 1,400 square feet. And in terms of the price range, they are all at least $1.3 million all the way until $1.6 over $1 million. So having seen all these options, if let's say you are someone that prefers a bit of indoor-outdoor living, then naturally you can go for those kind of options. In terms of the price range, they are definitely still well above the $1.2 over $1 million range. But if you prefer a unit with almost 100% of internal livable space, then Norfolk definitely scores well in terms of what you're looking for. Now the interesting thing lies in the fact that because we are located within the close proximity towards the Sembang and Canberra area, naturally when some of the new launches right over there going at 1,003 to 1,004 PSF, by the time the current owners choose to exit, probably in the next 4 to 5 years time, the exit price is definitely going to be at least 1,005 to probably 1,600 per square foot pricing. That will bring the entire price quantum for the 4 bidder to be in a range of $2 million right within this vicinity. And if you haven't already known, resale price trend tends to follow how the new launch prices are behaving. And I would say in terms of the tri-factor analysis, this definitely scores well because in terms of size, that's something that you cannot find in today's market. Per square foot pricing is well below $800 and in terms of the overall price quantum, that is also below the 1.2 million mark. And last but not least, even if let's say you choose to exit fields down the road, some of the master plan that is happening right around here is that recently one of the government land sites that is going to be released for sale is going to be a white site and that is going to complement the entire Woodlands Regional Hub as one of the business districts in the north. How that's going to impact you is that fuels down the road, even if let's say you choose to rent this out, the current rental price at a very conservative level has been transacted at $4,400 for a 4 bidder. Once you do out the renovation, fuels down the road, if you choose to rent this out, you can easily command at least $4,500 and upwards. And we believe that once all these developments start to take shape, Woodlands is definitely going to be one of the up and coming areas. And all these developments are definitely going to complement you in terms of your exit plan few years down the road. So let's head in and check out the rest of the four bedrooms right here. Right over here, this is where you can find your second storeroom. So I would say in terms of the storage space, that is definitely sufficient. And coming to the very first bedroom, now first bedroom is huge in size. I would say this is really the kind of size that you can find in today's market. This is currently fitted with a single size. Of course, you can still even go up to a king size. Three panels of wardrobe tucked towards here, floor to ceiling. Of course, if you wish, you can always expand all the way towards this corner. Given the work from home culture, this is definitely sufficient for you to place in a study table right over here. Moving on to the second bedroom. Our second bedroom is a bit more angular in terms of the shape because what the developer wants to achieve is to give the level of privacy towards the master. If you follow me towards the second bedroom, you'll notice that this is almost like a triangular shape and I would say this is perfect if let's say you want to dedicate this area purely as a study area or purely as a home office and if you would like to reconfigure this place, just remove this wardrobe space, revarnish your flooring, set up all your study table. But otherwise, if you wish to have this, as your normal bedroom, we have already measured, you can definitely fit in a queen size bed. Alright, so we are not quite done with the number of bedrooms because we are just only heading to the third bedroom. As we move towards the third bedroom now, this again is a very regular in terms of the shape and size. And for this particular bedroom, we are overlooking towards this gorgeous pool right here. And for this bedroom, you also have this planter right here. If you have green fingers, you can have some plants over here. This is currently fitted with a queen size side table with three panels of wardrobe. And I would say in terms of the space, this is definitely good. Now coming towards the last portion of this unit, you have two bathrooms tucked over here. Coming to this bathroom, you have the shower area that's tucked towards this corner and that's where you can find your ventilation window, your WC as well as your vanity countertop. At least where you can have a huge storage cabinet right below. 
And coming towards the second common bathroom, and I would say this second common bathroom almost serves like a Jack and Jill for the bedrooms as well as towards the yard area. Now again, in terms of the bathroom size, I would say this is definitely considered to be sufficient. All these are cladded with huge marble stone. And coming towards the last portion, this is where you can find your master. Master is definitely generous in terms of the size. You have four panels of wardrobes. Huge space, even if let's say you have a baby cot, you want to have a study table right over here, you can definitely utilize this space. Again, this is squarish in terms of the size and once again, this is also overlooking towards the swimming pool. This is a morning sun area, so you do not have any western sun exposure and I think that's great. Coming towards the master bath. Now, master bath, in terms of the design, they are slightly different. Probably some of the things that you might want to do is just to add in the ventilation fan uh, but otherwise, once you open up the window that is where you have a lot of ventilation coming into the unit For this development, this comes with squash court, basketball court, tennis court, badminton court, gyms as well as basement car park for the weekend activities, you can head on towards the park connector and that will lead you towards some of the parks that are located right around the Woodlands vicinity. And in terms of your weekend grocery needs, you can head on towards Woodlands where you can find Causeway Point, Woodlands Civic Centre. As you head over towards the Sembawang area, you have Tan Plaza, Sembawang Shopping Centre and Canberra Plaza that is just newly opened. And last but not least, within two bus stops away, we have the Kampong Admiralty and that's where you can find some of the hawker food as well as your groceries needs. Right, so we hope you enjoy this home tour right here in North Oaks and just to give you a bit of recap, 4 bedder that is standing at a staggering size of close to 1,500 square feet with an asking price of $1.18 million. Do get in touch with our listing team, the contact details are down below and if you like our content, do subscribe to our various channels on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. My name is Josh Payne from Brian Brothers, always happy to show you the place. But if let's say you are someone that really prefers a bit of, yes, you want to walk out? That's uh, Eunice, she's our listing manager. She's also one of the top agents in Province Brothers. So any listing that is under her is definitely in good hands. <laughs>